Ayo, what's going on everybody? It's your boy Potter with Grandmaster Glass. It has been a minute since I have made a video. I've uh, been doing a lot, a lot of family stuff, a lot of studio stuff, uh, bouncing back, world's coming back, I'm coming back, and uh, I really am going to be focused on staying consistent with the videos. Uh, I'm really into production value, but I know on YouTube I think it's going to be I think it's going to be better in the beginning to have a more consistent upload. And even if I could just kind of ramble and just talk about glass for like five minutes every day, uh, I'm going to try to do that like the best I can and stay consistent with it. But like right now, I've got a small little project to do, something I've been putting off for a while. And I'm going to set it up and just basically take a video. Uh, I really like to plan stuff out and kind of make it more artistic and like I said, production value, but just being a little bit more impromptu and vlog style and just trying to play to that YouTube algorithm because I really want to grow my YouTube channel. Uh, I love blowing glass, but making videos and kind of talking to the audience because as it stands right now, there's still, there, there's not a home on YouTube for glass blowing vlogs and that kind of style. There's, you know, glass chat where they talk once a week or as many times as he can, as, as many, as much as he can with other artists. Uh, there's Matt Jassa, and I watch his videos, um, uh, and he's more informational, he's more educational. Um, there is also, uh, Torch Talk, and once again, informational, uh, educational, but just having the whole YouTube vibe, I, I, I watch nothing but YouTube videos, um, I don't watch, like, regular TV, so it's like, I just love YouTube, and it's kind of pulled me in, and I want to be a part of that ecosystem, and there's not a home for glass, so... Uh, I decided to make it my job and we're gonna start trying to consistently bring videos to you guys uh, And yeah, just always drop a comment if you think I could do better on certain things. Uh, I think it's pretty quiet I've been getting good views, you know, uh, pretty much everybody that follows me Watches my videos it kind of seems like but there's not you know, I'm getting three four hundred views, but there's not Comments and I, I like to see the videos when there's like a lot of comments going on and just having a topic that you're passionate about that you can comment on would be awesome and uh, even hey if, even if it's like what shirt I'm wearing today I am rocking the excision shirt I got from a tour here in Texas when he was at uh, the San Marcos uh, what is it? the mark is what it's called. But yeah, so like I said, I have this small project to do and let's just kind of get right into it. So down here, this is kind of like a Bunsen burner. It's just like a propane only burner to keep glass warm or to warm up glass while I'm working on it. Uh, typically, Torch has oxygen and propane. This ju has just propane. So I can keep a piece warm and it won't crack. Uh, I've got a few extra parts. Um, I left it outside, it kind of got rained on, but uh, that's all right, this is in a bag. So I've got a Y splitter to go from the propane to this, and then I've got an actual shutoff valve, or I had some backup y, y splitters with an actual valve. So I'm trying to decide which I want to use. I think I'm just going to do the, the valve like that and these are so old and busted I don't even really that's why I replaced them I just kept them just in case I'm I'm still not gonna throw them away yet I guess but I need to find a home for these I'm probably gonna put them in the tool chest but uh, yeah so I'm gonna rip just the uh, propane off of this and have the end to connect and then so the reason why I got this particular hose rather than just getting some like propane hose by itself is that it comes with a B style fitting and then the other end is exposed so I can do it, do it to the valve. So it'll make more sense in one second. I'm going to unwrap it and unwrap it and I'll be right back. Back. Okay. So like I said, I split these. These were originally connected like uh, these meat. Uh, you can't really see over there, but... Yeah, these were connected, so I ripped them apart. And what I was saying was, this is a B-style fitting. Some of the hoses ha have just open ends on either side. Well, I wanted one side with a B-fitting and then one with an open fitting because I'm going to go from the Y-splitter, and it's just uh, more reliable, in my opinion, to have the, the, 
B fitting rather than having the clamp style. But what I'm gonna do is go from the B fitting to clamp style, my valve and then clamp to clamp. And this is the Bunsen burner. It's called a light burner. And uh, this is a uh, Carlisle, Carlisle, Carlisle. Uh, and yeah, I guess you adjust it for the airflow, what, how much air gets sucked in, but this is going to be pretty cool. And you know, like I was saying earlier, just having a home for glass blowing stuff, because I love watching videos and learning from them and I don't really have anybody to watch. So, uh, I am going to make these videos for you, for me as well. Having these kind of be a log to just have my personal thoughts working on different things. Like in the background, I've got my Pocospheres. I've got some red prep there working on these guys. But uh, yeah, just having this be a landing spot for all my thoughts and stuff and interesting things like how I made the video on setting up the oxygen concentrator or building the studio, just all kinds of stuff. But I just don't have anybody to watch. And uh, I hope you guys have a va like find value in whether you blow glass or you just like art just having a video to watch about glass blowing and being into it um being brought into the whole process i think is really cool and i wish i had that so anyways moving on like i said i'm gonna hook all of this up and uh i could set up the tripod but i'm, I'm just gonna continue to just give you guys updates so i'll be i'll be back Alrighty, big success i haven't turned it on or checked it out yet but uh I have my exhaust fan running just in case there's any propane leaking. But like I said, I ran it from a Y splitter, B valve, or B fitting, excuse me. And I ran it and chopped it. And I put the valve right there so I can open and close it. And then I ran that to the burner. And I don't know what I'm gonna do with the burner. I actually have seen artists wrap Kevlar around the tube to make sure it doesn't like if glass broke or fell it doesn't land on that so i'm going to do something like that somehow i'm going to zip tie or mount the the valve or the the latch somewhere up here you know somehow get it so it's easy to access turn on and off real quick and um uh, yeah because that's so once that's on it's live and then it's just going to be shooting propane out so just to be able to easily turn it on and off quick enough and yeah, didn't need those uh, Y splitters, like I said. And yeah, that's pretty much the setup right now. So I'm working towards making mini tubes. And that's just one thing I've seen people use is just a small propane burner just to ensure that the piece doesn't crack while you're working on it. Um, and yeah, just finding my rhythm, getting back into the swing of things. Got all the camera setups. I'm gonna do a nice uh, big video about my studio everything i've done here uh, i haven't done an update in quite some time but i've got my streaming setup there my recording setup my tv my security camera my computer battle station back here so yeah i think that's gonna probably wrap up this video uh, not too much else i'm gonna cover like i said i'm gonna be trying to do these consistently and upload regularly whether it's a five minute, just a little talking video, or if I actually have something like this to do. Um, and yeah, like I said, I don't really have anything else planned. I'm trying to think anything else off the top of my head. It's probably gonna wrap up this video. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all the YouTube things. And remember everybody, never stop evolving.